Welcome to the fastest stop in town. Today we're going to start this Bubba Matsya, Dav Dalad. We're going to begin on Dalad Amud Al of the second line <coughs> on the Amud, in which is a continuation from what we saw on the previous Daf on Gimel Amud Aleph in the words of Rabbi Chia. He says that if a person says Man Yad Chayomi hundred dollars, other person says Ein Lechab I owe you nothing, and then all of a sudden you have. Uh, witnesses that come and say, no, you do owe this guy 50. So the din is, of course, you have to give him 50 because you have witnesses stating that. But the din is that you have to make a shvua on the other 50. And therefore, if you make a shvua on the second 50, then you will not end up having to pay on that second 50. And the question is, how was he able to do that? Why do we say that a shvua works in the case where Adam come regarding the second half. So we see this as a Kabbalah He says, um, and we're trying to understand what the Kabbalah is, but we know that in the typical case, typical case of Moed Mimiksa Sataina is where someone says, you owe me $100, and they say, I owe you 50 So in that situation, we saw in Gimel Mimbez, that really Ishtimuti. The truth is, you're not someone who is a Goslin. You're not Cheshit Amamoyna. So you can make a shvua because the only reason why you're saying that you only owe 50 is because really you want to admit to everything. You can't admit to nothing because you're not going to be made as pundit to someone who did you a favor. So you really want to admit everything, but you can't admit to everything because you don't have all the money on you. So you're just going to admit to what you have, and then you're going to push him off. And when you come up with the rest of the money, you'll pay him. So therefore the Torah says, we want such a person to make a shvua in this case, to make him chive on the whole thing. So that's a situation where... He is someone who is just denied the whole, didn't deny the whole thing, wasn't covered by coal, but at least he admitted to half of it. In that situation, we require him to make a shvua on the whole thing. So we say, so, you would think that it would not work when it comes to this case of where the Adam come and say, no, you do owe $50, you're a coffee for Kobe, you owe, me the, owe the first 50, that you can still make a shua on the other. We're trying to understand what is this Kavachimer. So let's continue now with that introduction on Dalad with Aleph. El Omer Papa Asim Gilgul Shua de Edechad. There's a din which is discussed in Ulam Satis Kedushin regarding the din of Asota that there is a concept of Gilgul Shvua. Now, once we're Machaibu to make a, a Shvua de Raisa, we can tack on other things as well. So, what exactly is this, says Rashi? In Mishaibu Shvua Alidei Erechot. Let's say you have one witness, and one witness can be Machaibu, not Mamoin, but to make a Shvua, as we saw before. The Haisal of Taina Harris. Let's say there was some other issue going on. Shlo Haisal Mutelis of Shvua. Where there really is no chi of shvua, but since you're already making shvua, megagon ois im shvua zayis v'nishma al shnehen. So in that situation, we're going to make you also have a shvua in that case as well. So we, as we, as I said, Rashi quotes the Gemara in Kedushin that there's a chi of, of a shvua, then there's a also a din of gilgul shvua. So let's continue. Mal gilgul shvua. When it comes to the case of a shvua of one witness, uh, in that situation, shechen shvua gerere shvua. In that situation, one shvua causes the other shvua to be said. Taimer be'edim. When it comes to the case of edim, the moment kamachayve. It's actually n- not that there, there's no shvua uh, to do Gilgal over here. It's that the aid the edim come and say you're chayev. So how do we understand this? Says Rashi, the inkan shvua ligor al yada shvua al ashar. So how is this a kav homer? You can't compare this to gilgul shvua. There's no gilgul shvua. There's no shvua to begin with. So you can maybe say again that when it comes to gilgul shvua v'edachad, so you can tack on other shvuas, but over here there's no shvua. So my answer is piv yoichiach. What does that mean? So you, you make a shvua on what you deny. Says Rashi. Moida mix a sataina. Again, you den- you agree that you owe fifty, but you deny the other fifty. Sha'alma Shakaifer, you have to make a shvu on what you deny. Upiv Lohoida Hu Nishba. So yeah, but Mala Piv Shachin Enu Bahakasha. So that which uh that case, Enu Bahakasha, there's no one contradicting you. There's no one saying that it's not true. 
but over here there were Adam that said that wasn't true. So Edechad Yochiach. Even though you have one witness, nonetheless, he could still require you to make a shvua. Even though there's someone contradicting you, you can make a shvua against that aid. So too, in this case, you should be able to do the same thing. When you have aid and it says you actually owe 50, you can make a shvua on the other 50. It's not the same thing. Because by the aid, he's saying whatever it is you owe X amount of dollars, so the shvua is against the aid on that money which he's saying that you owe, then you want to pay based on the, we don't listen to the witness's testimony. Masha'in came when it comes to Adam, the Adam said you owe 50, there's nothing to talk about. You have to pay the 50. The shvua is on the other half. So, so you can go back to, again, when a person is mighty mixes a taina, that in that situation, you're making a shvua on that which uh, you, that there is no contradiction on. So, nonetheless, there is a din shvua, v'chais or din, or rizek, rizab, or rizek, rizab, these two cases of piv, um, by your own admission, but can be mud and mixed as the taina, which again is a chiv raisa, in the case of eid echad, so in that case, well, in these cases, they're not exactly the same. Hasada shavashem hen sh'al yidei taina kvira hen boyin v'nishba, there's an admission and there's a denial. So, in that case, you make a shvuah. So, we're actually going to learn out through this din of um, uh, of an eid echad with Gilgal shvuah and with the uh, your own admission by the uh, by the might have mixed a sataina, so too when it comes to the Adam that say, yes, you're the 50, you can make a shua on the other 50. Yeah, but Mal Sana Shem Shem Shechain Lul Hooks a Kafran. Talking about Adam Shechain Hooks a Kafran. This is a huge problem. Says Rashi, Al Masha Kafar, Ain a Muks a Kafran. Shem Lul Chichesh, Shaid, Ain a Neman Lul Hachish, Lul Hachziko Kafran. One witness is not saying that you're a liar. He is saying you're a liar, but his his testimony is not strong enough to actually make you into a, someone who's a, is a kafran, to someone who's like a liar, a denier, someone who's a rasha. So in that case, okay, in that case, we allow you to make a shua because it's not already established that you're a liar. So therefore, you can make a, a shua. Timer be'edim, when you have two witnesses, you said you're a kafran b'koyl, says Rashi. They said, what are you talking about? You owe nothing. You owe 50 for sure. Maybe in that situation, once he's chayshin al mamayna, because we see his chuk sakafran, maybe then we don't allow. So, you're right. When it comes to an eid echad, we find that there's this concept where there's a situation of denial and acceptance, but not, we allow it. That's because you're not chuk sakafran. So, why would we allow in this case? The answer is, uh, what do you mean? When you have witnesses, who says you're hooks a kafran? Focusing on a milva, we're talking about a loan over here. You owe me a hundred dollars. Now we know that as we established already in the previous daf, that the truth is, even if he's denying it, but it doesn't mean he's hooks a kafran, that he's a, a wicked person. It doesn't mean he's chayshin amamayna. Maybe it's just eshtemute. Again, maybe all he's trying to do is push it off. And therefore, when it comes to that situation, maybe he is allowed to make a shvua because he's not hoksa kafran. Even though you have witnesses that say you do all the $50, which is clear that he was lying, that doesn't mean his lying is hoksa kafran. It just means the money was gone because Milva hates on this now. And now all of a sudden he has to come up with this new money, so he's just trying to push him off. But it doesn't make him hoksa kafran. So maybe therefore for that reason he's allowed to uh, still make a shvua. Um, however, not when it comes to a pikadain, because the pikadain, it's mamish here. So how could you be, if you're kaifer be pikadain, and witnesses say that the pikadain is, was by you, to your hooks of according to this, because you, you had no, there's no reason why you couldn't have given it back. You can't say ishtimute. El parachach, imalas ana shem shem heren shechein, ene betaris hazama. There's no din hava zama. Taimer be ene mishesh betaris hazama. So you, you can't compare them. Because when it comes to the Eid Echad, all these different cases, there's no Din Hazama. You can't be Mazim, one person. However, when it comes to Adam, there's a Din Hazama. So therefore, how could you com- you can compare uh, to a case when you have two witnesses? Says Rashi, 
But Torah says Zom Lashon Knas to Kasher Zomam to Eid Achad Shehuzam Potter. We know if there's, you know, you had two witnesses, but what, only, you're only Masim one of the two. The Gemara Machas talks about this. It doesn't work. You have to be Masim Shneim. Lupiv Gabi Hoida Kol Shekin Doli Shaycha Hazamaklal. Obviously, if you're the one who's admitting to it, there's no din hazama, there's no witnesses, there's no first, there's no plotting witnesses, you're just being hoidos uh, piv on, on 50. Tarma be'edim im chuzmu bechemishim he'idum mishalma mamoin. So how could you compare the two? So maybe, because there's a din hazama, so the witnesses are much more strong so th- than than that. So maybe in that case, you cannot make a shvur. Halukasha or bechia taras hazama loy parach. He said, no, that's not a good question. What do you mean? Says Rashi, in a chashuv lo pircha. The Kivan says Rashi, the eid echad yishtam hazama lebatel edusai, beedus um, or keedus shnei edim. So it's interesting that if you have um, someone that comes, so right, he's not going to end up having to pay kasher zama lasas ochev, but nonetheless, it, it's enough to be mavatel uh, his words. So therefore, it kind of is similar in some regard to hazama. That there is a chash of some sort. Again, doesn't mean that the edi hachash is going to make him have to pay. There's not. That's not true. Says Rashi, the yishlam hazama with bottle I do so. It'll cancel him out. The imishum the imishum can ask, but he's not paying. Says Rashi in bezum if you kayach lahamin edusai. That's not enough to say. Oh, that's the reason why we should believe the testimony. Okay, that is any any different. So he says you can't ask that kash on hazama. Okay. Ein uh, Ein Rashi, Ella de Kaimer Betan Ella Ella de Kaimer. Uh, rather Ella de Tan Ella de Kaimer Betanatuna says Rashi Ella Im Yeshachal Hashiv Al Divi Rabbi Chia. If you want to ask a kash on Rabbi Chia, which again is what we quoted on Daf Gimel, that if you say the person has Malu Biyadcha and the Loiva says Ein Lochal Biyadi Kolom, these Karfer Bekol, and then the Adam come and say you owe fifty, then you make a Shul according to Rabbi Chia on the other fifty. Kach Yeshachal Hashiv. This is what you could. Point out the karma of a tana tuna of a heavy raya with a bar of mimisha sinami dami. Because we said the tana tuna that we have a mishnah in support of this, maybe not. Mi dami, how can we compare this to our mishnah? Hasam over there, lo malo ve islet sahadi lo loiva lo islet sahadi do masik loiva midi. In this case of Rav Chia, the Malva has witnesses that definitely say that he owes fifty dollars. The loiva has no witnesses. Um, regarding the 50 and all. There's no witnesses. So, that's the case of Rav Chia. However, um, because the Devar actually had some witnesses, obviously the fact that the Loiva, according to Rav Chia, does make a shoe at all, must be because there's no witnesses on the borrower's side. If the Lobo would have been able to produce witnesses, he wouldn't have to make a shvua. He would just produce his witnesses. That would be enough. It says, You wouldn't have to pay on the other 50. So if he had witnesses to back him up, that would be enough. Over here, However, in our Mishnah, they both have witnesses. Why? They're holding on, let's not forget our Mishnah, this talus, right? The Chetz Yishlo, each one is holding on to it. Therefore, since each one is holding on to it, it's like it's theirs. So why should the Chachamim have to make a Shvua if they're holding on to something? It's like it's it's like an Anan Sahadi that that's theirs. Shema Minah Taimu La Misham Maitam Mixa Satayinahu Krabchiyah. The reason is obviously not because of Moed Mimixa Sataina, because you're saying half of it's your, half of it's mine for sure, and the other half I also want, right? So why does he have to make a Shavu at all? It sounds like at least he has witnesses. The Enu Shavu Adaraisa El Takanas Chachamim Shlo Yehei Kolech Vahoyelach, etc. Obviously, our Mishnah shows, because it's not comparable to this case, because like our Mishnah, if there's actually witnesses, you should not need to make a Shavu. And this is what we said before in yesterday's daf. That's true. We do not have a chiyav midyar raisa to have to make a shvu in the case of our mishnah because since each one is holding on to it, it's keil like there's witnesses on that thing. Therefore, it's only a takanas chachamim so that people just don't physically start grabbing things and all of a sudden start saying it's theirs. Ali itmar 
the Tanatuna Idach Rabbi Elmar. If you want to say some support, it would be having it would be on a different statement of Rabbiya. What was Rabbiya? A second statement of Rabbiya. Yom Rabbiya Similar case, but a little bit of a twist. Still, the other person says you owe me hundred dollars. Not that the person denied it flat out, and then he had witnesses on the fifty. Rather, he says no. I only owe you fifty. Now it sounds like motive a minute mix us, but he adds an extra word. He says vehelach, and here it is. Take the fifty. Now chayiv in this situation, you're chayiv to make a shvua on the rest. My taima helach nami kamoi to mix us a taina dami, which is a big chiddush because you would maybe think that if he's saying you owe me hundred, and I gave you the fifty, so the fifty is already gone. So it's not moidim mix us. Haluch may mean it's gone, and now I'm just being koifer bakoil on the fifty. The whole court case is only on fifty. So maybe you don't have to make a shvua at all, or again, at least midaraisa. You don't have to make a shvua moidim mix us because it's haluch. You already gave the other fifty. The fifty is gone. But his chiddush is that this is also a case of haluch. Is also like the case of moidim mix us, and you would have to make a shvua deraisa as well. But tanatuna shnai moisa metalos. In the case of our Mishnah, now our Mishnah ha hacha kivon de tafes, since each one's holding on to part of the talus, anan sahadi de mai de tafes helchu bekatani shava. So it's kiu like what's going on. The other half that this other person is holding, it's like heluch. It's like okay, it's yours. There's there's no debate on your half, and nonetheless you still have to make a shvur. Rav Sheshes Amr no helch potter. My time we come to Amr le helch. Hani Yisus did come on the Megavayu command the Nakedu Malvedami. It's like as I said, according to the Rav Sheshes, he's he's chalk Rav Chia, and he says no, it's kiul like that money's already given, and therefore be in the chamishim halomoidi. He's not admitting on the other half. Hilkach leka hadas mixa satayna. So it's like being kai for bakoil. Fine. Rav Kash Rav Sheshes Kash Mastisen. So our Mishnah. Why do you have to make a shvua? Well, her our Mishnah doesn't require it, and it seems like a case of haluch. So, so I'm looking at Rav Sheshes. Rav Sheshes again will say, "Yeah, you're right. Make or I did. Maybe you shouldn't have to make a shvua." But as we said before, Masdis and Tekanus Chachamim. He it's just that Tekanus Chachamim, so people shouldn't grab Ve'idach in Tekanus Chachamim. He is true. Umiu iamar bishol me midaraisa haluch chayiv. If we can say that haluch in general is chayiv. Therefore, Mesach Nirabana and Shvua came to Raisa. Therefore, this Mishnah is a case which is connected to Haluch, and that's the reason why the Rabbanan and Mesach in it. Now, the Iyam Ibn Raisa, Haluch Potter, if you're flat out Potter when it comes to a case of Haluch, so Mesach Nirabana and Shvua, the Laysa, the Kavasa, the Raisa, why would they Mesach in something which is not really connected at all to, to a Din Raisa? So, therefore, he's actually saying, you're right, I'm not dis- dig- disagreeing. Certainly, our Mishnah is a Tekanis Chachamim. But the reality is, there has to be some connection to a dindaraisa. So therefore, our mission is a case of Haluch. It must be a raya. The Haluch is deraisa, it's deraisa, it's mechuyiv. And however, the, our mission is talking about a situation where it's not mamish the case of Haluch. But the fact that you're holding on to it, they're hold, he's holding on to it. It's kiu, like it's a case of Haluch. Therefore, it's kein deraisa. Meisve. So the more asked the question, now spending some time focusing on this din of, of Haluch. So, as we continue to Dal Mabez, we have the following case. We have Saloyim Dinarim. Says Rashi. Star, you have a document, Shikasa Boy Ploini Loyim Aploini Saloyim. It says that one guy borrowed money, and it says Saloyim. Sell us. It doesn't really say how much. Well, appears comma. So now this is an issue because we want to know how much actually was borrowed, and it's not clear based on the document. The document is not exact. So Malva Oimer Chamish. The Malva says, You owe me five. And Veloiva Oimer Shol. She says, I owe you three. Now, the minimum of Saloyim, since it says Saloyim, it's obviously two. Now, he apparently could have just said what the star said, which is two. Instead, he said three. The Malva says you owe me five. So what's the din? Rashimon was a Omer Hoyel, the Hoyde makes us a Taina Yeshava. So since um, we have a case, this is a case of Hoyel, the Hoyde makes us a Taina Yeshava. Why? Because he's basically saying, take the three, three is I'm giving you, and the other part is a question. And he still requires a Shvua. Now, 
The reality is, it's a Meshav Aveda. He should be, it's like free money to this Malvin, because he probably could have gotten away with just saying two. He's giving him more, he's saying three. So that, since he's saying three, so why are you bothering him with a Shavua? You should be lucky that you're getting even a little bit more than the two. Okay. So the question is, do you make a Shavu in this case? However, Katani is, we nonetheless learn that Rabbi Shemad Elezer Oimer, Hoyul, the Hoyda makes us a tiny Shava, time of the Yomer Shalish. Since, uh, um, since he said three, since he said three, so that's a, that's a reason why you're Chayev to make a Shavu. Hashtai and Potter. If you'd have just given him the two straight out, just two, what the star says, then he would not have to. Now, the high star to Kemoyde Behelechu, when it comes to the star, it says two, it says Sloyan, which will just translate, maybe that means just two. So it's Ke'ilu, when he gives his, the two is like already Helech. So he's already giving the two. The Shema and the Potter. So we see clearly from our mission that the Helech, in this, this case, the Helech is Potter. Again, why? He, Rav Shimon Lezer says that you do have to make a shvu. That's only because he said three, which is much. if he only said two, so then he would be he would be putter. Which doesn't seem extremely fair. That why would he be chayiv with three but putter with two? Says Rashi. Tamidi Omer Shalish the whole mashmois a star heluchu. The same idea. The star is just like heluch. There's no like. There's no. There's no question on the star. Whatever's on the star, you definitely have to give. Shari ha karkos mishubadim al kach. Not only that, but your land is also mishubad um, on it. So therefore, since you have a document, the guy can just take your land. When he said three, the labishtar ksuva, the extra third one is not on the star. Bein karkos mishubadim v'lav heluchu. So the last one is the is not heluch. Right, so therefore, it's not a case of haluch. It's like a case of normal mode of a mixus. You're saying five, and I'm saying three. So I have to make a shvur. However, when it comes to two, in that situation, it's a case of haluch, and therefore you would not have to make a shvur. So we see it's actually kashrav Look, really, you be chayiv on two as well. So why is the mishnah? Why is like you saying mishnah? Why does this case say a situation of three? The whole machlokas is whether that's considered to be a case of of, of three is a machlokas two, right? According to Rabbi, according to Rabbi Kiva, he holds that it's Meshav Aveda. He would not have to make a, sh- a shul a tain. There's no mode of mix us when it comes to Meshav Aveda. He says that when it comes to three, it's mode of mix us. Af he should say, even in this case, you have to make a shvua, but also by two. Not only by this case, not only there, but also by this case. He could have just used a different language so that it would have been clear that his argument is not only by three, and then it would explain his the stand the stand of haluch, and therefore it would also say you'd be chayv also by two because haluch is. Achiva might have mixed us a tie. The fact he doesn't say that, maybe we're back to our question. El Olmstein Potter. So the truth is, two, you're chayv. I, so we have a kasha. Rabbi Chia said that by, this is a case of Halech, and the Halech should be, should be chayv. No. Really, the Halech chayv. So why in this case are you Potter? Mashani Hacha to come aside Stara. This is not a normal case. You have a star over here. The star is very strong, says Rashi. Ha'edim ha'chasumim al star. The witnesses that are signed on this document, Me'idin Kedvarov, they're testifying, Shlo Hayu El Why does it say Sloyan? Probably because it means there's only two. Lukach will appear Shuminyanam. That's the reason why I wasn't explained. Hilkach in Sak Shvua. You don't need a Shvua when it comes to two, because when you say two, because the star is very clear, it's two. So that's why you have to pay. Whatever the star says, the star basically says two. But that has nothing to do with Haluch. So that's answer number one. So either Shani Hacha to come aside le Shtar Inami. Alternatively, Misham to have le Shtar Shibud Karkos. In the Shmoy no Kvir Shibud Karkos. It just pushes as we said. The whole Shibud is on the uh, the re- the whole reason is because the Shtar is connected to land. But we don't make a Shvu on land. So it's right when you deny land, the Shtar have a Shibud Karkos. So Kashem Shein the Shmoy no Kvir is Karkos. Says Rashi. Kach Hoidosan in Mavia 
Vidi Shvua, the Karkos Amyuti Matar Shvua. Okay. And they quote Sigmar in Mesakta Shvuas, and Perk Shvuas Adayanim over there, of Oki Amr Malve Chamesh, for Loeva Shalesh, if the Malva says five, Loeva says three, Ika Kfir Behoida, Bamashin Kosu Bashtar. In that situation, there is Kfir on what's not on the star. And therefore, you could make a shul on the three because that third one is not connected to the star. There's no shivit karkos on the third. Some people frame the question differently on the latter part. When it comes to three, you're lucky you're getting the third. It's meshav aveda. No shul required. So time of the yamer shul shashtayim chayiv mashma rebbe kibud hold that two you would be chayiv. So actually, now we see this as a riot to Ramchia, or maybe Kasha Roshesh's. Really, Rabbi Kiva would say you're potter by three, but also potter by two. Why did Tani Shalosh? So why did he mention three? Rabbi Kiva holds that when it comes to three, it's not a case of. A mud of a mixus, and therefore it's a mesh of a veda, and therefore you're going to be potter from a shvua. But also by two, you're also going to be potter from a shvua because he holds maybe haloch is potter. So hechi, so hachinam is This also is probably logical, says Rashi, to be shtayim potter. That according to Rabbi Akiva, not only does he say your potter like it says by three, but also by two. If Rabbi Akiva would say that you argue by two, that, that he would say you're chayim by two rather. So that doesn't make any sense. How could you be chayim by two, but you'll be potter if you say three? Hi, arumi kamarm. Maybe he's just saying three as a form of trickery. What's that? Savar iamina shtayim bina shtabuye. I know the din. I know the laws. And I know if I say two, I'm going to have to make a shua. I don't want to make a shua because I'm a liar. And maybe I really owe five. So aim a shalish, I'll say three, the have commission of Avedo be a potter. And then I'll be potter by three. El Shmaminosh time now be potter. So it must be. Because if in fact you say three, you can get away with it. So I'd rather say three I owe th- I owe five between you and I. No one else knows this. I owe five to this guy. But I don't want to pay him five. I don't want to pay him anything. But if I say two, I'm gonna have to make a shvua. I'm not gonna make a shvua. I'm not gonna lie. So I'd rather Say three, pay the guy three, I want to make a shvua, and it'll be done. So therefore, it must be that you're going to be not just potter by three, but also potter by two. Okay. El Kasha Reb So this is still a Kasha Kandra Reb because we see clearly that Rabbi Kiva is saying that you're going to be potter by two. So we see, hey, look, uh, there is no din shvua. No shani hasam to come aside le shtari. Now maybe shana havali shtari shiva karkos, and this one al kabir shiva karkos. When it comes to two, maybe the reason we're potter is again either because the star. Or because of, again, it's Shiva Karkos, as we said before. All right. Masev, let's look at question 11. Let's slow down. Let's see, let's see, at least see some questions right here. There's only a question here. Saloyin dinar malbo imer chamish. Loiv armer shnayin. Him chayim shvua moidim amixas umadua. So when it comes to two. So what's the din when it comes to two? It's not so question. It's not such an easy answer. Let's see how he writes it. Potter mishuos moedim mixas. If you said two, you're potter. Imi tam helach l'madir mitu potter. Imi omishum dishtar mesayo omishum dein hodas karkos mevidi lechiv shuos. So there's a whole bunch of reasons. If you said three, you're going to be potter either because you have the star or because the shibi karkos or if you hold helach is potter. But again, even if you hold helach is chayiv, but over here you'd still be potter because you have the star against you. Mesev marzutru bereid rav nachman. So Rav Marzutra, the son of Rav Nachman, asked the following question. Tanu kale of karkois. You have a person that claims that you owe him vessels, metaltalin, and land. Hoida b'kalem. So let's say he admits, okay, I owe you a bunch of these pots. The kafar b'karkois. But I do not owe you land. Hoida b'karkos. Let's say, on the other hand, let's say he admits the land. The kafar b'kalem. Potter. In that situation, this is not considered to be moidu mixus a tiny. This is Rashi. In this situation, even though you're de- denying and accepting part of each part of their of, the, of a claim, there are two totally separate things on land and metalton. So therefore, that does not consider to be moidu mixus. Hoida mixus karkos. Let's say you admit that you own part of his land. Land potter. In that situation. You're going to also be potter because we said before that we're not going to make nishmoyin al kfiras 
uh, Shivat Karkos. Mixus Kalim Chayev. Of course, if you deny the Kalim, so then you will be Chayev to make a Shmua, because that's Mud of a Mixus. Now, Taima the Kalim and Karkos. The reason why you're put there is because you have Kalim and Karkos. The Karkola Bashvohi. Can't make a Shmua on land. How Kalim and Kalim, Dumit Kalim and Karkos Chayev. However, if you have, he's claiming two different types of Kalim, and you admit to one type of clay and not the other one, you would be chayv. So maybe this is the case of Heloch, that the only reason why you're potter is because it's Kalim but Karkois. Masha, it's Kalim but Kalim, and you admit to one, you say Heloch on the he- on Kalim, then you be chayv on the other, Min Had Taira of Moed of Mixas Taina. So therefore, we see Araya, like Rav Chia, that, might, that when it comes to Heloch, you're chayv to make a shul. Well, all the of Kalim but Kalim, now be potter. So then why is it mentioned in this case? Vagtani kelim karkos hakamashu and hodim amixas kelim chayiv af al karkos. It's coming to tell you that if you admitted and denied on the kelim, you're not only going to be chayiv to make a shvua on the kelim that you're denying, but also on the land. Even though the truth is we do not make a shvua on land, but we will in this case because since you're already chayiv to make chayiv to make a shvua, so we begin to begin the daf because of gilgul shvua, you be chayiv also on the land. Af al karkos. So my kamash one, zaykikin. You're telling me this whole din of zaykikin. Tanina zaykin al chasim shein lehem achrayis matatlan as al chasim shein lehem achrayis li shavu lehen. So we already know that that the matatlan, which is a chi of shvua, can grab hold and force also a shvua on the land. So hachi ikar chasim agav grower natsba. Over here, this is actually the ikar place that chasim uh, actually. Uh, Hasim in Kedushin is Agav. So, why? Because over there, Kedushin talks about how you can be Koina, how you can ma- get married, and Evid, how you can Koina and Evid Ivory, you have a Kanaini. Then it starts talking about Kinyanim of land and Metaltalin. So, that's the reason why it's brought down over there. But the real main section of the din of Zaikakin is here. And even, even the din of Gilgal Shvua really is also in Kedushin, which is, you would think is the Iker. Okay. Um, it's also more in Sota. Okay. Dav Hei. Uluman di Oymir Heloch Potter. Now, according to one who says that Heloch Potter, again, I owe you, a hun- you owe me $100. And the person says, here's $50. That's the case of Heloch, but I deny the other. So if you say you do not need to make a Shvua in that case, am I Istra Kra? Why do you need a Pusik to exclude land from a Shua? All forms of land is mamish a case of Heluch because it's right there in front of you. In a situation where you dug a whole bunch of holes in the ground, says Rashi, to love Heluchu Sharkilkala. You can't just simply take this land, Heluch, it's like it's here, because the land is completely destroyed and therefore you have to pay for the land instead of giving him the land inami the tanu karkos if you have a claim of kalem and karka behold of a kalem and kafar karkos you admit by the kalem and your kafar karka says rashi even though you admit it to the kli the lav helechu um the nishba shibit karkos. It's just coming to tell you that the halacha that you were not nishpoinal kfir shibit karkos. So that would be the second answer. Question twelve. Stop there. Omadi Amar Heluch, but the Ramayis or Kral Muti Kark Mishua a Kol Karka Heluchu. So Isra Hecha the Chaver Bar Shichan Amidas or Hecha the Tanu Kel of Karko Karkos Hod Bekel of Kafer Karkois. T A. Nineteen. Elu beis chumar siyesh bepiv yosim eida. Okay, this brings us back to Dalim of Aleph. So where do we find? I got this half right. Two chumars by piv more than edim. Echad lekuliyav echad lechad tan. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier to know. So one is as we saw before, actually in yesterday's da that you're chayiv in a carbon and chaymish to the rabban to rameir the rabban rameir. Which we said over here that, that there's that is the the pircha. You can say, let me just find it over here. 
We cut out the Taras Hazama. So Taimer Be'enim Shish Be'Taras Hazama. So Shechin Einan Be'Taras Hazama. Taimer Be'enim Shish Be'Taras Hazama. So that's actually part of TA uh, 19. Let's keep going. Um, T. A twenty. My dual Rav Sheshes in the Hoychiach Mamastis and the Hill Chayv Shvur. Umadul Rav Chia Esho Hoychiach Mamastis. So how does he say this? I also got this half right, unfortunately. The Mastisin Hashvur Mid Rabbana. So that's what we said before. That he holds that this is really Omach Rav Sheshes Mamastisin Tekanas Chachamim. That's how Rav Sheshes says our mission is really just a Tekanas Chachamim of against the Shulei Kolach Veachat Taikiv. Rav Chia Svirle the whole the tikkun in the rice the tikkun. He says you're right, but it has to be. Niyam Rabishol Mem the rice the halo chayim is sakni rabban and shvur kein the rice. So that's the reason why Rav Chia says it must be our mission is kein the rice. So it has this taste. It's similar to the concept of 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 halo. Um Niyam um, Rabishol Potter one will mute the karkim and shvur typically the having le halo. Third question over here, which is already now in Hamad Aleph. Either again, if you dug holes, this is the same qu- question as uh, question 12. This is TA21. Alternatively, what you did was it's talking about just that the Anish Bueno Shibid Karkois. Even though you admitted to the land, to the Kalim, you're still going to be part of the Shvua. Question TB20. Meilu Chayvi Shvua, Lomad Rav Chil, Maskana, Bumahatsad. So this is on Dalim and Not a great, easy answer. I wrote Shvos Eidachad and Shvos Atzma, which I think is 100% right on the money. So this is TB20. Not an easy question, but this is Shvos Gilgul Shvos de Eid Echad. And also. And that was his Chayzer Hadin, that was the Sada Shava. Question TB21. Slayim de Narim, Malabalim, Rechamme, Shalayim, Rechamme, Shalayim, Rechamme, Shalayim, Rechamme, Shalayim, Rechamme, Mixus. So we have actually three answers to this, which is the same as question uh, 11. This is TB21. Basically, either you can say Helech is Potter, or the Shtar is Mechiach, Shalayim is Mashtma too. Or I said, who bari shehu shtayim? Remotzi mechavel of haraya. The third answer, that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is because of shibud karkois. Right? Because um, enish boyin on, on, on uh, shibud karkois. And the, the star of two, uh, you do not make a shua because since it says... Uh, two, so that it says Sloyan, which is two, in Ishboyan al Shibud, um, uh, al Shibud Karkois. Adkan.